six South Korean dating shows to watch after Singles Inferno. It's been a wild and sometimes infuriating ride, but Singles Inferno is finally over. The eight-episode Netflix reality dating show brought a cast of attractive singles to a deserted island and had them face off for opportunities to escape to a luxury hotel for better accommodations and one-on-one -on -one dates. It became the first South Korean reality show to ever make it into Netflix's top 10 list of TV shows watched globally, and it showed us just how much can change over the course of 9 days. Moon Sehun, for example, managed to end up receiving praise instead of a restraining order. But now that the final matches and mismatches have been made, you might be missing your weekly opportunity to feel like a relationship expert. Given the show's popularity, we wouldn't be surprised if Netflix brings a new group back to the beach for another season. But if you don't want to wait, this particular flavor of dating show, where there's subtle drama to be found even in small decisions, such as where people choose to sit at dinner, has a whole host of precedents. Whether you like psychoanalyzing the contestant for red flags or just looking at them, here are six more Korean reality shows with English subtitles to fill that scorching singles in size hole in your queue. 1. The Heart Signal Franchise If you like guessing who would pick who every week, this show has been leaning into love prediction for three seasons since 2017. Heart Signal brings a group of singles to live under one roof and choose who they're interested in every episode. While the new housemates all still have jobs and work obligations, they find time to interact with their potential matches by cooking and going on dates. Footage is broken up frequently by panelists, who pick apart conversations and analyze body language for clues. Fans of Song Jia from Singles Inferno can catch her making a cameo in Friends, a hard signal spin-off that features contestants from previous seasons and expands its focus to include platonic relationship. Two, Transit Love. Participants on this 15-episode dating show from 2021 arrive with literal and metaphorical baggage. Each has an ex who agreed to be part of Transit Love, which you will see translated under several other names, perhaps most cleverly as exchange. Over the course of several weeks, they decide whether to start a new relationship or revive an old one. The show asks the housemates to pretend that their exes are strangers upon arrival, making things uncomfortable if they start to flirt with others. Sometimes one person has firmly moved on, while their ex still has feelings or ill will. Transit Love makes sure to capitalize on its unique format, allowing, for example, participants to anonymously question the exes of the strangers they are interested in. If you were devastated when a singles inferno couple you were rooting for didn't match, Get ready to feel a new kind of pain when complicated relationship histories are involved. 3. Bet on the Beach This is for anyone who wants another show where people simply run along the coast in swimsuits. The six-episode series moves quickly because the eight contestants only get to spend three nights and four days at the beach getaway where the show is set. Each evening, they are tasked with picking the person they want to spend the night with. The couple that exhibit the hottest behavior in their room, still pretty tame by western standards, will be rewarded with a fancy date. Various games encourage the potential pairs to make physical contact and ask each other bold questions. The quick pace of the show means no panel breaking up the footage with commentary. Bet on the Beach recognizes that only so much can be done during such a short time. When it's time to move out, the contestants choose someone they want to continue to see without the cameras. 4. The Love Catcher Franchise There may not be much wrestling, but competition underscores the show. Love Catcher combines a dating show with a game of mafia. Before moving in, all the participants decide between one of two identities. Love Catchers are looking to form a genuine relationship with another Love Catcher. Meanwhile, Money Catchers can win nearly $45,000 if they get a Love Catcher to form a couple with them. As people make romantic gestures, there's always a layer of suspicion about who has ulterior motives. The identities aren't revealed until the end, but there are challenges and clues along the way that will keep you speculating alongside the show's panelists. The show's third and most recent season, Love Catcher in Seoul, just finished airing this month. If you find it fascinating to see how people manipulate each other, this show will supply all the mind games you want.
5. Love and Joy Cha Hyun Sung was workout buddies with Kim Hyun Jung and almost worked with Jia before they filmed singles Inferno together. And Love and Joy takes the concept of each contestant not being total strangers a step further. The show accepts pairs of close friends who are in platonic relationships. Ostensibly, you are equipped to be a great wingman or wingwoman for your friend. But you might find that a new environment makes you see them in a different light. Love and Joy is hosted by a real-life couple, Lim Lala and Son Minsu, who have a popular YouTube channel together. There are moments when the participant seeks advice and guidance from the long-time couple. But mostly this pleasant group of friends turned maybe lovers make up a relaxing viewing experience. 6. I Am Solo Perhaps the biggest twist in I Am Solo is that the audience never learns the real names of the contestants on the show. Everyone appears under a pseudonym, and only couples that match tell each other, not the viewers, their true names. The series singles who come on I Am Solo are thinking about marriage. The conversations focus on more long-term plans like starting a family and core relationship values. You don't have to worry about missing out on much if you start watching in the middle of the show. Matches are made every few episodes, which means that viewers meet different groups of people throughout a single season. Those are recommendations for you by Jennifer Zahn from Falter.com. You can open the link on the description to read the article and to see where you can watch the shows. Last, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Kakado TV. See you in the next videos.